This is a project that I created using a sweet pea stamp called Angelic by Rachel Anderson. And I've used some various papers by Die Cuts with a View and also from Prima. I've added some vintage laces in the background here and some pearls. I've shimmered up my flowers and added some butterflies by K and Company. The image is colored with Copic markers and I've put it on top of a Sizzix frame. In our tutorial today, I will be demonstrating how to create the look and feel of sand you can see down here at the bottom using distress inks and some glass bead gel. Beginning with our image, I'm going to be using a distress tool and inking it up with some distress ink. You can use a sponge if you prefer, just whatever you like to use. I'm going to be pressing a little bit more here down at the bottom and lightly feathering up to the top of the corner of my tool. We want to add a little bit more pigment down at the bottom and I'm going to use some circular motions here just to create that illusion of water washing over the sand. We don't want there to be too much of a hard line so just be careful as you get towards the top that you're really feathering that out gently so that we don't get those lines. Now keep in mind that it will look a little bit lighter once the bead gel is applied over the top. The bead gel dries fairly see-through but not completely so it's more opaque. So you can add a little bit more pigment if you want it to appear a little darker. Now you can find bead gel in the artist section. It tends to be next to gesso and things like that. We're going to apply it with the stipple brush. My brush is a little bit stiffer than the average paintbrush that you might use, say, for watercolors or acrylics. You can use whatever brush you like. I'm just using the stiffer brush because I have a little bit more control to keep the product chunkier. Just going to press it up towards the water slightly. The other thing you want to keep in mind also as you're applying the product that this is fairly thick and it's going to dry after a little while but it doesn't dry immediately so you have some time to play with it. I think it being thicker makes it actually a little easier to work with in some ways if you're trying to make a textured look because it stays right where you put it. It doesn't tend to relax over the paper and get thin or anything like that. You can probably see now how it has kind of a grainy appearance. That's from the glass beads that are actually in the gel. When I applied mine, I actually added some glitter and mixed it in with the gel on a paper plate before I applied it and that way it made it so that it dried with a little bit more of a subtle shimmer. If you wanted more of a glittery look you could pour your glitter over the top as long as it was still wet then it'll stick and dry really nicely in the gel. Also you want to keep in mind the way that you're applying your gel because it's going to dry fairly similar to how you've applied it. If you use a sweeping motion and you apply it really more smoothly like this, it will end up being a little too smooth. And I wanted more of a chunky feel so that it, when you touched it, it would feel a lot like sand. Now we're going to let this dry. And here's how it looks when we're finished. You can see the shimmer and feel it just feels just like sand. A lot of fun. So grab your tools and your supplies and have fun with it. Thanks for watching.